Ow. Ow. <laughs> did did you have to hit me? I mean seriously. Yeah. You should be thankful I'm not in my real body or the damage would have been much worse. I know that. I mean sure it's not that it's not as bad, but still getting hit hurts no matter who does it. Well, it's hitting is <laughs> it's part of discipline. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry, I'll be back to my old self soon Soon enough, then we'll do something about the overly lenient beatings, beatings you've, you've been getting while I've been in Satan's body. I'll make up for that pain deficit all, all at once. What do you mean, don't worry? Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. I don't need any more punishment. Punishment, none. Oi. Are you going to tell me? You, are you going to tell me you don't need food either? Because all you've been doing is talking. If you don't eat your food, your if wait what? If you don't eat your food, you're going to lose your chance. You know. Oh, I'm definitely gonna gonna eat, man. It's been a long time since I've eaten at Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen sounds familiar. Where, where, where did I hear that before? Where did I hear that before? Hmm. <laughs> I think I know that place. <laughs> sure, I'm glad Biel isn't here. Well, time to get, time to dig in. Hmm, that's good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, this is your reward for co coming shopping with me. So, eat as much as you'd like. Okay, I will. I take back everything I said. You're the best, Lucifer. <laughs> He's only the best if he, if uh, he makes you happy, you know. Hmm? What's wrong, Anna? Are you, aren't you going to eat? Uh... Something's fishy, you're being too nice. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna say that. I'm, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, let's uh, let's not get too suspicious for now. I I think I'm gonna say, you bet I am, I guess. You bet I am. <laughs> <laughs> Good, dig in and feel free to have second... What? Have seconds if you'd like. Ah oh, man, that was good. Couldn't eat another bite. Could eat. That was good, but you couldn't eat another bite because you're full. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yes, I'm sure you couldn't. And guess what? Now you get to comp what? compensate me for all for all that food you ate through hard work. Huh? What? I'm heading up to the human world, and you two are. Come in with me. The human world, like, for real? We we get to go to the human world. Ooh, Ooh this is awesome. I mean, this sounds like this this sounds like tons of fun. <laughs> Man, it's been a it's it's been a long time since I've gotten I've gone up there for fun. I used to corrupt you. What? Corrupt human souls left and right? I'd make I'd make a bunch of money doing doing it too. What? That's so fucking scary. Then I'd go on a, on a massive spending wait sp ma money spending spree. You're coming right. You're coming with Anna. Wait, what? You're coming with right, Anna. This is gonna be great. Why exact? Why exactly are we going to the human world? Yeah, like. Why? Huh. Maybe. Oh, I thought he's going. He's gonna say like like something about uh Belf Belfi, Belfagor. Anyway, 
because of the curse book that cursed me to switch bodies with Satan, you see, the witch who created that book is still alive. Who is it? If you want to break this curse, the best way is to ask the very, the very person who created it. I'm guessing she, she should be able to lift the curse and return me to, to my proper body. Wait, did you say a witch? A witch that created a forbidden book that could make people switch bodies? Hold on, could that be? Who could it be? Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and set this one out. Bye! <laughs> Did you really think I'd simply let run, let you run off from one? Boy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but seriously though, who is it? Who's the creator? What the fuck? Who's the creator of that book? I know why you don't want to go. Because it just so happens that which is a big fan of both, both you and Satan. Damn. Damn. It must be nice to have fans. I don't know. Then don't drag me along with you. Yeah. Actually, that's exactly why I'm going. I'm going to drag you along with me. I know you're coming too, as long as we're going to be in the human world I, I imagine having one along with us will come in handy yeah sure I'll come along but where do where do we go exactly <laughs> London what hey yo what the heck okay I'm in let's go to London No, 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 I don't wanna <laughs> Oh god I'm not go going to any human world, don't make me Boy. If you don't shut up now, then, then once I'm back in my real body I promise to string you up and hang you upside down for a thousand years <laughs> Just like what happened that time <laughs> Oh god How do you, how do you get to the human world anyway? Like, how do you get there? Uh. Oh, there are more than a few methods. One is to use an e eternal, what? Eternal magic seal, a passage between worlds that has existed since ancient times. There are several magic seals that like that, one of which is right here. But pretty much the only demons who are allowed to, s to use those things whenever they feel like it are Lord Diablo, Barbados, and you, Lucifer. What's up with that? Yeah, what's up with that? Boy. I mean, it ain't fair. I want to be able to use them too. You're not strong enough, Momon. You're not strong enough. <laughs> if another demon wishes to use the doorway, they have to... Receive permission in, in advance. Originally, all demons were allowed, uh, were, were allowed, were allowed free use of them whenever they wanted. But then we had some problems up in the human world that necessitated a change in our policy. So now it's a permission-based system. You see, a certain someone kept heading to the human world and getting himself into trouble with the witches there. I think I know who. I think I know who exactly. <laughs> a second option or the classic route is to walk through all the 80 layers of the Devil Dome on foot. 80 fucking layers on built? What the heck? That must be tiring. That must be tiring. What the fuck? 
Oh no, uh-uh, too much trouble, yeah, too much trouble, nope, nope, no thank you, <laughs> Relax, I've got no interest in going that way. The classic route is simply too long, and I doubt that Anna's... Wait, physique, physique? <laughs> um, how do you, how do you pronounce this? Psych? <laughs> Psyche? Would survive, would survive the trip. Psych, psyche, I, I don't know. A third way to travel to the human world is to have a magically gifted per person such as a witch or a sorcerer summon you there. Oh. It sounds simple, but there are several limitations to that approach. Mamon is well acquainted with them. Have him fill you in later. Oh, so scary. No witches, no witches, no witches, no witches. <laughs> alright, alright. We know you're afraid of witches, Mamon. Now, let's get going. Wait, no, don't make me do this. Demons in the human world. Demons in the human world. Yes. Okay. I don't want to go to the human world. Well, you have no choice. Wait, huh? Wait... Everything looks the same. What the fuck? Wait... What's the big idea scaring me like that, huh? This ain't the human world. We're still in the devil dome. Huh? It didn't work. Strange. Why didn't it work? I'm certain I did everything right. Uh, Lucifer, have you forgotten that you're in Satan's body right now? What? I see. So even thought it's really me as long as I'm in Satan's body, I can't use the magic circle. Without a mirror around to remind me, it's easy to forget that I'm I'm someone else right now. <laughs> well, if you can't use the magic circle, then I guess that's that. No trip to the human world. That that curse is gonna wear off eventually anyway, right? And then you'll change back. Oh God. <laughs> As. As for that speech thing you've got tomorrow, I I'll go, I'll go have a talk to, with Satan for ya. Of course, uh, my services aren't free of of charge, but don't worry, I'll give you a family discount. Don't want be necessary. Who's? Yeah. I hate speeches. They're a giant hassle, and I've got no intention of agreeing to give one. Satan, it's just for tomorrow. It's just for tomorrow. Please! You gotta! What are you doing here? What? Is there something wrong with me being being here? Either, either way, I heard everything you guys said. So... Don't just stand there doing nothing. Come on, let's get going. Get going. Wait. Don't tell me you actually want to go to the to the human world. Yes, that that was your plan, right? To find the witch who created the curse that caused us to switch bodies and have her lift it. <laughs> Don't think this means I'll owe you anything. Unlike a certain stupid mamon, <laughs> stupid mamon, <laughs> I won't be deceived so easily. <laughs> hey, come on! You didn't even leave out any letters. Now, now everyone knows you. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, what? Everyone knows you mean me. That's not what this is about. I'm just tired of being in this body. That's all. I've gotten all the fun. I, I've gotten all the fun out of it. I can. <laughs> Shucks. With that. Satan and Lucifer both hold their hands over the magic circle. Boy. 
Hey, whoa, what the? So now, so now you're, you two are cooperating? I thought you hated each other. Listen, if you wanna go, go see this witch or whatever, fine, just don't make me go. Are we in the fucking bar? Oh, yeah, that's good. Real good. We're in the fucking bar? We're inside a bar! What the heck? <laughs> Man, the human world totally has the, the best dark... The best dark beers. What is it, Anna? You look like you want to say something. Um... How old is Momon anyway? I can't justify his age. I thought you didn't want to... You didn't want to... Come to the human world. Oi, oi. Exactly, you're unbelievable. You screamed bloody murder <laughs> about having to come here. But now look at you. Well, you know... That was then and this is now. I didn't want to come, but as long as I'm here, I'm not gonna waste my chance to have fun. <laughs> nah, it's been so long since I've been in the human world without being summoned by here by, by some witch. Exactly how do you, how long do you plan to hang around here go with goofing off? Come on, time to get moving. Huh? What? But I've... But I've... Still got a, a lot of drinking to do. You know, I think later on I'm gonna search for uh, Mamon's age because <laughs> there's an option in our dialogue that we should. Uh, there's a dialogue that we should choose or we can choose from it, it and it says you can't drink until you you're in in the legal age. So. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna search for his age later, after I'm done recording this. <laughs> Come on, if you're going to stay here drinking, then we're leaving you with the bill. The entire bill. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm coming. So, uh, you can pay Lucifer, my favorite brother. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh god. Oh. He's being all nice to Lucifer. He's being too sweet to Lucifer so that he can pay him. What the heck? Huh. Ugh, enough, just stop talking. <laughs> okay, now where are we? Are we in the station or something? Hey Anna, check this out. This place is selling selling official Harrison Harrison Porter. <laughs> is that the na the name ripoff of Harry Potter? <gasps> what the heck? Oh god. <laughs> Wait, this is actually one of the locations where the movie was filmed, wasn't it? Uh probably. Well, and these are the same chocolate lizards they had in the movie, huh? Oh, and this gum, wasn't it? Was in it too. I can't... I can't not buy them now. Boy. And who exactly do you think Imagine is going to pay for that? Well, you of course. But who else? I mean, it's not like I've got any human world money in, on me. Mon, have you forgotten that I'm human? I have human money, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you never have any money, Mamon, regardless of what of the world you're in. <laughs> oh, he got exposed. Hey, well, it's not like I don't I don't got any money at all. I'm just always either saving up, saving all up, or spending it, spending it like crazy. So. I never have any on hand, that's all. Uh -huh. You truly are demons, demon. 
You truly are. You truly are demons, demon, mamon. <laughs> Look at this, Anna. They've got. Wait, what? They've got chocolate lizards keychains, and it looks like they're real chocolates, man. They, they did a good job on the on these, huh? I totally want one, right? 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 <laughs> I don't I don't like lizards, so now nah, thank you. I don't know. I mean I do like chocolates. Oh <laughs> uh, there you go, lion again. Admit it. The truth is the truth is you want you want one, don't you? I mean check it out. It it says you can only you can only buy them here at Victoria's station. Sounds like Victor Victoria's Secrets. <laughs> Anyways, that, that's different. Anyway, <laughs> forget what I said. The, anyway, come on, we'll buy a, a matching pair. Something to remember our trip to hu to the human world by. <laughs> Fine, I suppose I don't have a choice. Huh? We all don't have a choice here. <laughs> Wait a minute, Lucifer. Why are you buying for? Why are you buying four? We only need two. One for me and one for Anna. Uh, what? Let them have two! Let them have one too! What the heck? Don't be so selfish! God. There are four of us here. What? So now you, me, and Satan are go are gonna have matching keychains? Why is it gonna be like that? Oh, that's so- that's just gross. Well, Lucifer, it seems Mamon doesn't want one, so I guess we'll only be needing three then. One, one for you, one for me, and one for Anna. No, wait, I do want one. I totally do. I gotta have one. One version of events since... What? Huh. Boy. Let's hear it. Wait, hear what? What do you mean, let's hear it? What did you do this time, Amon? I told you, nothing! Huh? What's going on? He killed her, he killed that woman. What? That's right, he stabbed her with a knife. Hey, you three, are you- Are you with this man? Y yes. <laughs> I, uh... yeah. Well, I'm not personally. Uh. Neither am I. I've never seen him before in my life. Marionettes. Uh. Hey, you two are evil. You know that. So Anna is the only one who will stand up for me. Seriously. I th because I thought they were gonna say yes as well, so I, I just said, yeah, we're we're totally with him. <laughs> but what did he do? What what did he do? What the hell? <sighs> Honestly, you're like a magnet for trouble. Everywhere you go, it follows. You need to stop this. I don't know. Stop what? Like, I'm just an innocent bystander here. Yeah. Well, in any event. In any event, you'd better tell us what happened and start at the beginning. I'm uh, well, I heard there was a car on th on the train where you could go, to, where you could go to eat. So I went looking for it. Oh. I was gonna take some pictures, then, sh then, sh and, and then show them to BL later, you know, to brag. But then. Is this a dead end? Nah, couldn't be. Oh, hey, there's a sign here. Let's, let's see. No, no admittance. Admittance. This this car has been reserved for a private party. What? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Wait, th wait though. If I can't go through here, I can't go to the dining car, can I? You can take your reserved car and shove it. <laughs> you know, I'll just 
pretend I can't read human road, human road writing. Yep, that works. In I go. Excuse me, coming through. What the? Hey, it's dark in here. Wait, what was that? Someone, someone in here? I cannot read that. Is that even? Is that even uh, German? I, I, French? I don't know. Fuck. Come to us. We bliss bliss it. Why? What? what the <laughs> bliss bliss it. I don't know. Hear our words. Hear our summons. Show yourself. Appear before us. Yo, what are you guys doing? It's a spirit, huh? Huh? What happened? The spirit medium. She collapsed. What's going on? Look, blood. Oh my god, blood. Blood, oh my god. She's been stabbed in the back. Uh, hey, are you okay? Talk to me. It's no use. She's stopped breathing. It sounded like the last thing she said was, Mamon, what could that? Mamon, huh? Well then, she decided to name someone great and noble in her last breath. I'm guessing she'd always wanted to do that. And I don't blame her. Because <laughs> it just happens that... It just so happens to be my name, you see. Say hello to my mom. The, the one. Why would you say that you're, you're that guy? What the hell? Now they they're all gonna blame you for. There's no, no wonder they're blaming you for killing her. So then she said your name in her dying breath. It must have been a message. She was trying to tell us who killed her. Oh God. No wonder. Just how much of an idiot are you? A pretty big one, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, these people are treating me like some sort of criminal, you know? So, how about you defend me here? You never think before you act. That's why you're always getting yourself get, getting yourself into these situations. You complete and you complete an utter moron. No, that ow, that hurts. <laughs> oh my god. You deserve it, Mamon. You deserve it. None of this would have happened if you have hadn't insisted insisted you on on telling them your name, but being the total fool you are, you had you just had to, didn't you? Don't wait, don't wait. Hold on. Don't cry now, it's your fault. It's your fucking fault. You you'd better think long and hard about what you did. <laughs> oh god, am, am I, am, I imagining like MC or like the, the main character is, is just pinching Mamon's ear. <laughs> well, we're going to have to do something about this. I don't believe this, as if we needed another problem to deal with. Only one version of events is ever true. Ever true. Huh? Eh? What are you talking about? You know, seeing Lucifer smile like that. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a line from the mid-fall murders of a human road crime suspense series. That was the lead char character, Inspector. Adler's famous 
catchphrase. The per the the, per the perpetrators had best give themselves up now while they still have the chance because I will find them. <laughs> I never thought that they would come and when that would come when I'd actually get to say that in real life. <sighs> I'm not sure I completely understand what this is about, but I can tell you that you're motivated and that's what's important. You know, this is serious. Someone just died, you know? Someone just freaking died and we're all here just fooling around or something. Goofing around. You three, this is no time to be standing around joking. If this man is the killer, then we'll just hand him over to Scotland Yard at this... At this... Wait, well, at the next station. Oh. I think all of you should go wait in the dining car for now. Goodbye. Right, good idea. We'll let you guys track down whoever did it. Okay, everyone. Let's go to the dining to the dining car. Right. Yes, good idea. Okay. What a, what about the dead body? There's a dead body. What the fuck just happened? Oh. It's one of our powers as demons. We're able to manipulate humans, sort of like a form of hi uh, wait, uh, a form of hypnosis. <laughs> uh, but Lord Diablo has explicitly forbidden anyone from doing that to you, so don't worry. As long as we're in the we're on the subject, I should note that Asmo's power to seduce others is an e an even more powerful form of manipulation. So oh wait, I forgot. He actually tried to charm you, but it turned out that his powers didn't don't work on you. Yeah, the only <laughs> you know if you're gonna charm me, the only one who can do that is Leviathan. Every once in a while, we can uh, we come across we come across special humans who are immune who are immune like that. Almost all of them turn out to be witches or sorcerers, people with exceptional magical magical power. But in your case, Oi. wait a minute, this woman, the the murder victim. I, don't know. I told you it wasn't me. I didn't stab her. Okay. I don't even have a knife on me. This is Grisella. What did you say? Uh. I'm certain of it. It's Grisella. The witch we were supposed to be... We were supposed to be going to see. Magica. You gotta be kidding me! Oh! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! All right, I will now prove to you that man, th that the man you, you see before you, woman, is innocent. Innocent? But that woman called out his name, right, as she's as she died. Yes, because the truth is that she actually knew him. What did you say? Oh. Just before she died, someone she knew appeared before her ex unexpectedly. It seems that it seems that's why she said his name in those last moments. If that's true, then she might not have been trying to na to name her killer. But that man went inside the, the the lounge. The moments later, she was killed. The timing is a little too perfect to be a coincidence. Indeed. It's only natural that you would think Mamon is the killer. Uh -huh. Listen, just listen to Satan. He's loving this. So. Damn it! Here I am, accused of murder, and he's having a 
good time. <laughs> By the way, where the where the where where at the table was the spirit medium Grisella? Where was she sitting? Where? Well, she was in in a chair facing away from the door out out into the hall. Oh. Precisely. And Mamon came through that door into the lounge. The one she had her back to. As soon as everyone inside the lounge re realized that someone was intruding on them, they all turned to see who it was. Which means that Grisella had to, had to have been facing Mamon's directions. <laughs> Starting to make sense now, is it? What? Wait a minute, no. I'm totally not. I'm totally lost here. Uh. Rosella was stabbed in the back. Correct. Oh. Yeah, so? Do you think you're so... Do you think you're so capable of stabbing someone in the back if they were looking right at you, Mama? Uh, let me see. <laughs> The long and short of it is that, given your position, you couldn't have stabbed her. Now, do you get it? I don't. You do have a point. Huh? Like, really? Huh? <laughs> in any event... In, a, well, in any event... We should go ahead and seal off the lounge until we reach the... The next station. Whoever did this is still hiding somewhere in on this train. Everyone, I'd like I'd ask you to remain inside your cabins until further notice. <laughs> Only one version of events is ever true. Uh, Yo, Anna, do you did you understand what he was talking about just now? I don't know what he's on about I don't know. hey hey what why does I look yeah what what why does that look you know we've been we've proven that I'm innocent now right <laughs> I mean I know it must have been a real shock cuz your sweet brother was treated treated like criminal I know but still if Grisel if Grisella is dead that means we can't lift the curse that caused us to switch bodies. Mm. So in the end, we came all this way to the human world for nothing. And the switch is tomorrow. Oy. Hey, why aren't you worried about... <laughs> why aren't you worried about me, huh? Let's see some cert some concern, damn it. <laughs> oh, this is just wonderful. I don't believe it. What a miserable state to be stuck in it. A love-hate relationship. Uh, I don't believe this. Here I am in the in the company of three demons, all of all of whose names I know, and yet, what a tr truly miserable twist of fate. Huh? Twist of fate. Okay, now what's going on? Boy. Hold on, I know that voice. Grisella is dead. What? Grisella? I thought she's dead! Actually? Grisella is dead. This would be... Oh! Oh! Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, it seems you're right. I don't it seems you're right, like you're a witch. You're supposed to be able to see the future and know... And know when you're gonna die. You didn't you have... Didn't you even... Wait, what? Didn't you even bother to check? And I knew that I would die at some point during my trip on this train, yes. But I didn't know how I didn't know how I would die. Only I only that I would. But it's time to die, it's time to die. There's no changing there's no changing wait what? There's no changing that. There's no cheating that. Yep. 
I accept my fate. However, I'd at least like to know why I was killed before I rest. And you're telling us before, and, and, and you're telling us this because, because I know why you came here. <laughs> oh, I see. Huh? What? what We're going to figure out who it was that killed Grisella. I don't know. What? That sounds like a bunch of work. Why do we gotta do something like that? <sighs> and explain this idiot why is is it that we have to cooperate with the Grisella? Hey, who are you calling an idiot? <clears throat> We're doing it because we want to lift the curse. Huh. Exactly, you understand per perfectly. See, Mona, I am smart as fuck. Come on, have you forgotten why we came to the human world in the first place? <laughs> he forgot! He was having so much fun that he forgot! Oh god. Oh yeah, right. It was to leave the curse that caused you to switch bodies. I, am, I just remembered. Oh. So in exchange for finding the person that killed her, she's gonna lift your curse? Come to think of it, the killer's gonna be one of the other three people that were in the room with her during the seance. Um, right? I mean, I, I, it couldn't be, it couldn't be anyone else. Exactly. The first of the three, with the tree, tree, <laughs> the first of the three is named Noah. He's someone I'm well acquainted with. He hoped to become my apprentice. And he was also the person who introduced me to the people requesting today's seance. As for the other two, I'd never met them before. Their names are Lucas and Sophia, their, and their siblings. It was they who requested the seance. They were hoping to speak with the spirit of their dead younger sister. So then, I guess... We only need to torture each of one of them separately until we find our answer. <laughs> yes, that shouldn't take to take that. That shouldn't take long at all. <laughs> okay then, so which of those humans should we torture first? I'd really like to find us a somewhat less violent way to <laughs> of show of, of solving this mystery question Grisella I would like to question her I have a question well what do you have here you're human aren't you so there's something you'd like to ask me do you remember being stabbed okay yes I should think so I remember the pain I felt as the knife entered it felt like it was thrust up be from before, from below. It burnt like fire. I'll never ever forget that feeling. But that's all I remember. I don't know who did it. Um, question, Mamon. Eh, me. What did you see when you first entered the room? Uh, at first I thought it was it was pitch black in there but then I looked harder and I saw that there was actually a candle burning on the table in the middle of the room Grisella was the person closest to the to, to the door I came through that's why everyone ended up blaming blaming me for it behind her were the two guys and the girl was sitting farthest away oh yeah and one of the guys was wearing what, this crazy looking shirt it was super flashy and super lame uh, that would be Noah he likes to be unique and make a, a statement 
Okay. Yeah, well, he stayed he stayed sitting there in his chair the whole time. <laughs> maybe maybe he was so freaked out about you being stabbed that he couldn't even manage to stand. Take in what what I've learned up what I've learned up from both Mamon and Grisel and putting it all together. I figured out who the killer is. Oh my god, who is it? Hmm? You have? Oi. Are you serious? <laughs> Alright then, let's go find this person and get to torturing. Wait, hold on. Before we get before we get to the torturing part. No, I want to do this the, the human way. The human way. Oh. Alright then, agreed. We'll do it we'll do it your way. Okay. What do we do first, Anna? <laughs> Satan and Mamon, you two get get you two go get Noah, I'll go wait I'll get the two siblings and bring them here. So Got it. Nanda. Yeah yeah. Yeah, but who's the killer though? What the hell? This is Satan and Mamon head off to get the three people who were in the room with Grisella. You there, Anna? You there, Anna, was it? I have to say, I'm, I'm surprised I, I never uh, expected Lu Lucifer of all demons to listen to a human, but that's what he did. He clearly trusts you, doesn't he? Well, he tried to kill me at first. <laughs> he tried to kill me the first time, so... But, but know that nothing lasts forever. Sometime in the, fu in the near future, he will lose every last... Every last ounce of the, of the trust he puts in you now. Whether you believe me or not, it, it's... It's up to you. I'm simply telling you that... The, Telling you the fur, the future, <laughs> the future that I see for you. Do be careful. Thank you. Hey, is what I is what I hear true? You know who killed her? Wait, what? Okay, all right. But so now you fancy yourself an amateur detective, do you? Well, pardon me if I'm not interested in playing along with this little game of yours. You know, maybe we should let Scotland Yard sort it, sort this out when we get to the next station. Are you suggesting that we should? We, that we sit around and wait when we have no idea who the killer is? I don't think so. Oh. So, time for you to show us this human way you spoke of. I know that. Hey, whoa, are you? Are you sure that's a, that's a good idea? <laughs> uh, shut the fuck up, please. Uh, I, 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 I almost said, I almost said Lucifer it. But in reality, that's Satan. <laughs> oh, God. Isn't that right, Anna? Everyone is looking this way. It's time to travel. It's time to reveal who, who killed Grisella. Who the fuck? What the hell? Oh. I thought that... I thought the game would reveal it. I have to reveal it. What the hell? You know... Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna pick whatever the... I don't know. You think I killed her? Or is he, are you insane? I respected and admired Grisella so much that... So much so that I wanted to become... Uh, become her apprentice. You have... Do you have some sort of proof to back 
to back up this accusation of yours? Mate. I can't take this anymore, and I can't just sit here and watch. Allow me to take over from here. Thank you! Thank you! <sighs> yes. Noah, you are the killer. You and you alone. Where's your proof? <laughs> There's the stuttering! There's the stuttering! The stuttering is the cue! The handle of the knife that was found in Grisella's back was pointed slightly to downward, correct? Yeah, that's right. And that, and at that, at that time, at at the uh, of the incident, both Sophia and Lucas were standing up as they had gotten up out of their seats. Yeah, I mean Lucas. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean. That was my natural nat natural reaction. Right, mine too. I was so frightened and upset that I jumped to my to my feet. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Satan. You really are loving this, aren't you? The killer is the one person who didn't stand up. Noah. He threw that knife up at at Grisella from a from a seated position. Oh. That's why the knife was lodged in her back at at a downward angle. Sophia and Lucas were standing up, standing at the time Grisella was stabbed. So if they had done it, the knife would have either been perpendicular on to her back or pointed upward. In other words, Noah is the only one who could have thrown that kn that knife since he was the only one seated. Oh, God. Well, Noah, what do you have to say to that? It's true. <gasps> I was right with my choice. I was right with my choice. I did it. I killed Grisella. Why would you kill her, though? It seems Noah can't see Grisella's ghost, but she's standing next to him now. I really did admire her, and generally, she had true power time and time again. I asked her to al allow me to become her apprentice, but she, refu she refused to accept me. Because she didn't have faith in me. So you killed her? So you hated her because of that? Just like a human. <laughs> uh, well, humans are like that, come on. I even told her I've I'd given I've give up everything I I owned if she if she'd take me on as her apprentice. I don't believe it. What were you thinking? But she never did accept me, so my life had no meaning anymore. <laughs> oh god, shut the fuck up. Oi, oi. Hey, how about you stop ma making that smug face while you're in my- you you're there in my body? <laughs> 